Good morning, everyone. Uh, Erfan uh, from South Australia, pharmacist. Look, uh, there is a question uh, asked by many pharmacists, or if it's not asked, that I will like to describe that small process, which is one of the key factors when you're applying for Australia as a pharmacist. As in my previous presentation, I have explained the process of how to apply caps, uh, like us how to apply for Australian Pharmacy Council, what are the steps of assessment, what are the steps of uh, getting to the stage where you can write the exam. And also there is a very uh, big need that you need to understand that that is not enough. You need to go to the next level, which is us, which is uh, uh, registration with pharmacy board through opera process, which is very significant in your journey. And not many people give this uh, really significant importance. Uh, but uh, uh, there were many pharmacists who probably not aware or who think that I have done the caps, that's it. But uh, the next step is missing. Many of the pharmacists do not understand. There's a lot of confusion that we should not apply for opera registration until we get the job offer. No, 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 it's not like that. You need to make sure when you pass the CAPS exam, you complete your PTE English test and, and apply for opera registration. Opera is the body, is like a main body for all the health professionals to be registered in the country. For your initial stage, the registration is called provisional registration and provisional registration need to be initiated as soon as you got your English test, as soon as you got your CAPS test. So this is a form which is called AASP60. So you need to download this latest from, from APRA registration uh, site, APRA, APRA site, which is uh, which you can Google uh, and uh, find out uh, the form and fill up this part. There are a couple of parts there, but don't get confused that this form need to be signed by the employer. This is the hell of a confusion that people don't take this action. This form can be filled without that section. So I would say that the section A, part A, which is on page one till um, page uh, uh, seven, where uh, you have to just uh, uh, fill this part till page four, I would say. Section C, section A, like section A, uh, section B, and section C. Uh, even if, if, if you fill this part, which is the first part of uh, your application, then is sufficient for you to apply uh, for your uh, opera provisional registration. All right, so this is something which you need to do without the employer's information and uh, make sure you supply the important documents which are required and they need to be attested in the same format which opera has given on their website. So there is a two page uh, uh, information where you can download and, and understand the information that APRA want in the attested document. So if you are overseas, uh, for example, if you're getting a passport, like uh, if you're getting your passport certified, uh, make sure that uh, you have those wording written by the person who is actually signing that for attestation. Make sure that it says exactly the same wording, I certify that this is a true copy of original and in the photograph is a true likeness of the person presenting the document as cited by me, signature, name of the person, title of the person, date of the person, and the contact number. So this need to be stamped or need to be written when the, someone is attesting your document, which is ID document, which have a photo of yours or a passport, right? So these documents need to be certified in this fashion where this wording of English is written that I, I repeat again, I certify that this is a true copy of original and in the photograph, in the photograph is a true likening, likeness of the person presenting the document as cited by me and the person signed all his stamp. All right. So if the document is not having a photo, for example, like your uh, CAPS result, then the wording will be slightly different. It says that APRA need this line to be written. Exactly. I have cited the original document and certify this to be a true copy of the original, right? And the name, signature, and the title, and the address and the phone number of the person who we are testing. So these two critical wordings are very important for APRA to have 
uh, your document certified this all information is available on on your uh, on the site of APRA you can download like and you need to provide your uh, registration certificate you need to provide a CV you need to provide your degree copy uh, mark sheet and few ID documents maybe a driving license and definitely a passport and your caps assessment document these all need to be certified and sent with your application which need to be uploaded on APRA website and uh, your mark sheet your degree and uh, your certificate from your country all right uh, and you need to pay 377 online fee via a visa card and submit that application APRA can take maybe eight weeks or maybe quicker someone has got application approved uh, within uh, uh, four weeks uh, depending on if you have done everything correctly and make sure you use the color scanner and submit those documents on on the opera website with your application so this is a very important step that uh, if you are applying for sponsorship visa or if even applying for eoi or etc etc uh, you need to have this in place because uh, the visa officer want this APRA registration, provisional registration in place before they issue the visa. So many, many, many confusion, many, many rumors are there. Don't apply for APRA because it will get expired. No, it won't get expired. Once you get registered, when you get, when you, once you got that registration, APRA registration, it is valid for 12 months. You need to renew it every month, every year. As a pharmacist, we need to renew every year. So uh, we need to pay the fee. So that is not an excuse that you have to pay the fee if you don't get the job, if you don't come to Australia. You need to have this document, APRA, APRA registration provisional in place. So that's very significant. The, and uh, also when you're applying for ITP, for Intern Training Program, which is from Oscillation College of Pharmacy, make sure you uh, get your APRA registration number and apply for yeah, that uh, uh, membership. And you need to download this preceptor form once you got the job uh, range then you can apply for this and also there are some of the courses so all right i thought make a video for those who are actually waiting uh, to hear this uh, who haven't applied or who are hesitant to apply because of many many people are misguiding saying that don't do this don't do that uh, but they're actually stopping you from getting your pro pro progress all right so thank you very much for watching and stay tuned uh, if you have any more questions uh, message in the uh, youtube channel or my linkedin uh, or other network uh, i can probably make some quick video to explain those uh, questions so i just made this seven minute video just to make it easier it's simpler how to process your APRA provisional registration which is one of the most important part when you pass the CAPS exam and you do the PTE and also a good standing certificate would require from your pharmacy council sent directly to APRA on the email so that's very important make sure you have all the documents ready and the police clearance international criminal check history that also one of the prerequisite for this APRA so you need to do those all requirements and apply that it's better to start this process after passing the caps when you're doing the PTE. Make sure you have all the documents ready to send as soon as you got the PTE results. Don't delay it. Don't waste your a single day because it will cost you. Because if you are, have not done it, your visa won't be granted. All right. And that means that you won't be able to earn, start earning. So make sure you count your days, you count your time as a money and use that time factor. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.